Hi, I'm Tony Clark, Technical Program Manager at Unified Cloud. This video series will introduce you to Cloud Pilot, which is part of the Cloud Atlas integrated tool set. The Cloud Atlas suite of tools support the entire cloud migration lifecycle from discover and assess, target and migrate, to monitor and report. In our last video, we saw how to log into the Cloud Pilot online portal and download and install the client app on your local machine. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new project and add the apps and databases that need to be assessed. Okay, let's get started. First, open the Cloud Pilot client by clicking on the icon on your desktop. To create a new project, click on the plus symbol in the menu on the left. In the dialog box, type in the name of your project and hit the Add button. You will be directed to a screen in which you have the option to add an application, a database, or application dependencies. To start, let's add an application. Enter the name of the application you wish to add to the project in the Application Name dialog box. From the drop-down menu, select the application type, which can be web applications, Windows services, window applications, or a website. The next drop-down menu allows you to specify the platform for your application, either .NET or Java. Other platforms will be added in future releases. Next, select the source code location. This can be either a source file or a folder with the source code. Enter either the file name or the folder path in the dialog box. You may optionally enter the location of the compiled code if you wish. Once you have entered all the information, you can add the application to the project by selecting Add or Add and Next. Clicking Add will add the application and allow you to enter information for an additional application if you want. Clicking Add and Next will add the application and take you to the Add Database page so that you can enter database information to the project. In the Add Database page, you can enter information for the database associated with the application so that it can be assessed for deployment into Azure. You have the choice of assessing SQL or MySQL databases. Click the appropriate radio button for your selection. Next, enter the server name where your database is located. Note that you will need sysadmin permissions to access the database server. Choose either Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication from the drop-down menu. If you choose SQL Authentication, you will need the username and password for the database sysadmin. Click the Connect button to connect to the database server. After connecting to the database server, you will be given the option to select the database to be scanned in the Database Name window. Select your database and hit Add or Add in Next. You may optionally enter application dependency information or simply hit Skip to return to the project dashboard. Now we are ready to scan our application and database. In the next video, I will show you how to start the assessments, view the results, and upload the XML file generated by the Cloud Pilot client. When you're ready, join me in the next video. Thanks.